Yo, what's going on? All my homies, homies, do's and do this. It's your boy Will, back again. Run through this weekly thing. Everything I wore all week, last week. So, without further ado, I'm not going to jump into any intros or anything. I'm just going to jump right into it. The first one, I decided um, moving forward, I'm just going to go from Sunday to Saturday versus Monday to Sunday. And just to recap on last Sunday, I wore this right here. And this is it's not coming up. The Roly Woods by Banana Republic. And this is a fresh fragrance. It smells similar to uh, um, Tom Ford's uh, Neroli Portofino. So that's what I wore on Sunday last week, and I already talked to you about it, so you already knew what that was. On Monday, Monday, I went with this fragrance. I got it not too long ago, and I haven't had, I don't think I really had a chance to get a good, real wearing out of it. So I went ahead and tried it for that Monday, which is this here, and it is Camaro Ohm Intense. Uh, by uh, Pandora and this one is a clone or inspiration of uh, DHI but to me it smells a little bit more creamy than the original DHI and um, yeah it was a little bit cooler on Monday so I decided eh, I'll wear it you know because Right now, it's not the time of the year that I can wear, get a good wear out of this kind of fragrance because it's more of a warm scent. Or maybe spring or fall, but when it's like 100 degrees outside, yeah, it's not a good work, not a good thing for it. Um, on Tuesday, Tuesday, I wanted to wear something a little bit sweeter. <laughs> I just had a vibe for, you know, something a little sweeter. So I went with this one right here. Ah, this is the pineapple fragrance. Uh, this is Kaed Al Fusan. Um, this is the pineapple version. The the white one they have is uh, I can't remember what the name is, but um, it's another. It's just like this. Except it's a white bottle. That one has more of a coconut base, and I like to. I've tried once or twice mixing this one with that one, and it's a. Whew, it's a. A tropical storm <laughs> it, it's it's a good uh combination so if you want to layer those two it's, it's a really good one but anyway this is what i wore on what was that tuesday on tuesday and tuesday and they say this smells like um uh what is it creed's aventus it doesn't smell like it. it just has pineapple in it so it doesn't smell like creed aventus at all it just smells like pineapple pretty much it smells like uh, you open up a can of dough, pineapple uh, slices or pineapple chunks. That's exactly what this smells like. So that was Tuesday. On Wednesday, it was warm outside on Wednesday, but it wasn't quite 100 degrees. I think it was like maybe about 95 or something like that. And I just wanted to wear something different. And I was in the house most of the day on uh, Wednesday. Or I should say indoors. I was indoors most of the day on Wednesday. And I went and grabbed this one. This is not the season to wear this, but like I've always said, wear what you want to wear, when you want to wear it. And this is Spice Bomb. And you know you got the little <laughs> pull tab. And this is a, a very spicy uh, fragrance. It, it comes off with, uh, I think it's cinnamon is the spice that's in here, but it's, um, it's a fresh spicy scent. It's really good for the uh, spring, maybe maybe early spring, and then fall and winter. But yeah, this is a really good one. Spice Bomb. I'm sure you guys have heard about Spice Bomb before. And then on Thursday, that was Wednesday. On Thursday, I went and grabbed this one. This is another, another clone. This is uh, Alexandria Fragrances. It's just a little small sample. And this one is called Emerald Street. Let me see if I can get that to come in. If I can get that to come in, maybe, 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 maybe not. Um, but this is Emerald Street, and this is a clone or inspiration of Bleecker Street by Bond Number no. Nine. And as you can see, most of the juices 
almost gone. But yeah, this is um this it I think this has gone a little bit bad. It has um it still smells similar to Bleecker Street. Like I think it's that plum note is there, but it has some something in the uh top of it it smells a little off. It doesn't smell like it used to smell. So that's why I say it may be gone bad, but um after I've had it on for maybe about 20 minutes it smells normal like it's okay and so it may just needs to be shaken up or or whatever i've kept it in a dark place so i'm not sure why it um, has that smell but uh right now it doesn't smell exactly like bleaker street it smelled it's a still a good scent you know it was a good summer scent that's what i wore on thursday on friday I went with uh, Old Faithful. I haven't worn this in a long time. And this is one of my favorite fragrances. Um, like if for some reason I had to get rid of all my fragrances, this would be one of the ones that I would keep. And this is Lone by YSL. And this one is uh, just, just such a classy fragrance. It has, um, mm, so classy and fresh it had i think it's i think this also has cinnamon in it and um uh what's that other note um like bergamot it has something else that's uh kind of fresh i think it's musk or something like that but yeah if you haven't if you haven't smelled this you you you're really missing out this is really a great fragrance this is a fragrance that everybody should have in their collection even females <laughs> it's a good one so that was Friday. And then on Saturday, I went with this one. This is Vince Komoto's uh, Virtual. And this is a good fragrance. I, I got the smaller bottle because again, I don't need a big bottle of everything. And this one, that spray looked kind of weird. This is a good one. This, this, to me, smells really, really, really close to um, Le Labo's uh, uh, Centel, Centel 22 or Centel 33 or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, it smells really close to it. And it smells like a creamy sandalwood and it comes off uh, a little fresh, but some. It can be clawing if it's really hot outside. So it was warm that day, but I still wanted to wear it. So like I say, where would you want to wear it? When you want to wear it? Just be cautious of your sprays and your surroundings because, you know, just because you like something doesn't mean everybody else is going to like it. All right. So that's what I wore on Saturday. And that's the week. So next week, I'm going to start with Sunday. Just like I started this week, I'm going to start with what I wore on Sunday through Saturday. And just like I recapped what I wore last Sunday to um, just to start off the week. So I still have seven fragrances in. All right. So it's been your boy, Will, with the Will Report. Thanks for hanging out with me. I know you could be anywhere else in the world hanging out with me, talking about my fragrances that I wore all week last week. Until next time, keep it cool. Deuces.